All right, guys. Hey, so today I'm going to show you a thrift haul, which I just thought was kind of fun that I did last week, actually, but I saved it so I could show you guys what I got. So I'm just really excited about show you guys my thrift haul. Um, so this is actually a place called Eco Thrift that's down the street. And we actually have a Goodwill that's nearby too, and I haven't been to it in this five years that I've lived here. And I I need to just make an effort to go sometime soon. But I have been to Eco Thrift a couple times, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Because of course I went in for one thing, I ended up coming out with a bunch of stuff. But they actually have a lot of cool stuff. They have like, I've seen brand name perfumes, uh, some jewelry that's kind of cool. They have a lot of house supply, um, house appliances, like blenders and printers and, and just a lot of really cool stuff. And then every week they have uh, certain things that are on special, like they have certain, certain different color tags that are like anywhere from 25 to 75 percent off and i guess every week it changes so let's say the orange uh tagged items end up being 50 percent off or a yellow item is like 25 percent off um so it changes every week um so that's kind of cool um i guess that's kind of what motivates people to kind of go in there um, but yeah, so kind of excuse the <laughs> messy background. Uh, we are hoping to be moving kind of soon, so that's kind of why it's like a little bit cluttered. So I actually also want to show you this little art project that I've been doing, and I've been trying to figure out what to do with these, but you probably saw my other video a little while ago where I did these nail polish dipped bugs. These actually turned out much nicer. Um, I figured out the secret is lukewarm water. Like the water has to be lukewarm. It can't be too hot, can't be too cold. Um, and then um, this one reminds me of cotton candy. So I just thought these are so fun. Apparently you can also do these with alcohol inks, which that'll be my next project once I run out of nail polish because I gotta use that up first because I bought some at Dollar Tree for the purpose of this project, so you don't need expensive nail polish. You can just use what you have or just buy some at Dollar Tree. I honestly found the Dollar Tree ones to work better. Um, okay, so that's these are the two that I made. So yeah, I might do like a little giveaway if I haven't already by the time this video you know goes up because I have so many of them. I had people donate mugs to me to just basically do this art project on. So I have way too many, like I already have a crazy crap ton of mugs. <laughs> so I have no room for these. I will be giving them away to people. <clears throat> and then I'm waiting for some to dry here. Um, I almost didn't buy black nail polish because I wasn't sure how to, it would turn out. But just look at this one. It hasn't had its Mod Podge layer on yet. But just look at this one. It's actually quite pretty with the marbled color. So it's super nice. So I'm really excited about these guys. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and so I'm gonna go ahead and get in with the video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. I actually lucked out with some pants that they were. I am like honestly hesitant to buy jeans right now um, because a lot of places their fitting rooms aren't open. <sighs> and Eco Thrift in particular, and I think this is probably kind of goes for most thrift places like Goodwill, where there are no returns accepted. So it's like you're really kind of taking a risk because you can't try anything on and you can't return it. So these items were cheap enough to where I took a risk because I was pretty sure, like 99% sure these would fit me. But anyway, as someone who is like has more of a pear shape, it just kind of can be kind of annoying because you know you have larger hips and like when the hip, like the hip part is big enough then the legs are too big and yeah so I find either the um like the short or petite pants fit me the best so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got I need to stop I need to sh yeah, okay all right so the first one I got here uh, these are Aria jeans. I've gotten this brand before. It's a good brand. This was only seven dollars um, And it looked like these These are size 11, but it looked like these had been hemmed because you can kind of look see the bottom here like the bottom 
like has like it has that crop like someone had hemmed these so that's kind of nice because these are definitely not nearly as long as they have they otherwise would be like they're definitely much longer um, and it looks like these were bell bottoms I can't really tell or some sort of relaxed fit but um, these were definitely hemmed I'm like okay I think these are gonna work for me and I did try them on they did work for me so I'm really excited by that this one these weren't these were did not have any additional sales this was an orange tag and the sales were for white yellow and green so <laughs> these were not on sale but they were still pretty cheap all right and then this is the next one which also fit me by Arizona jeans which is a JC Penny brand this is 11 short I knew this was gonna fit me this was $10 so uh, not that that's expensive or anything but if it doesn't work out then I can't return it I have to sell it or something um, but this is perfect too because this is gonna work I tried them both on they both fit so this is super exciting that's like a huge win because it's just like it's and I am a five foot three, 145 pound female, and I have issues finding pants that fit me right. If that just gives you an idea. Hello, Naoko. Miss Naoko doesn't join me for videos much, but hi, hi, you. Hi. What you doing? She's like, she is just not impressed. Look at you. You are not impressed, are you? You are not impressed. Okay. Bye. All right. So I do have something that's in the car which I will go get to show you guys because it is part of this haul. Alright, so I got a couple of tops. Uh, these were on sale. These were white tags. Uh, this is originally $3. I think this was 25% off. So I just thought this was a nice work cardigan by Izzy Buyer which is also a brand that I used to work at Kenny's years ago and this is another brand that was also really good that I bought and wore a lot so that's kind of nice uh, I mean I sometimes go in the office as needed but it's just it's definitely not the same all right and this is a green tag this was $2.98 this is a Key West um, Florida kind of shirt this is super cute this is sort of like a crop top this is in size medium okay actually a pretty good size for a medium um, but this is super cute, so I got that. Um, I did go to Miami. I've never been to, to any of the Keys, the, Maya, the um, Florida Keys. I really want to go next time I'm in Florida because I just think that would be awesome. Um, because it's, I think to drive through the Keys, it's like three hours or something like that to, to drive through the Keys. And like the tour I was looking at was literally starts at 6 a.m. because it's like three hours there, <laughs> three hours through them all, and then three hours back, not including stops. So that's just, uh, just the way it is. All right. So the next one I have here, this one was super cute. I feel like this is probably something that was probably like, like from China. Um, just because like it doesn't have any tags or branding, it just says medium. Uh, but this was two, this was three dollars, and it's super cute. To be honest, like so, I got this. This was also a white tag, so I think this was an additional twenty five percent off. So I got that as we get into more warmer months. And then another white tag item. This is a V neck, and I think this has to do with quarantine because uh, humans stay home. Dogs are overjoyed. So yeah, this is uh, definitely like our current reality right now. And that's kind of funny to find. Maybe someone designed this or something because that's something that you normally find. All right, and the next one I got here, um, and they do have like facial products. Sometimes they're open, like some of the perfumes are like maybe like they have, they do sell used perfume, um, which I'm a little bit iffy about because the, on eBay, I know and I may have said this, but there are a lot of knockoff perfumes out there, so you have to be careful. But um, I did get this. This is a face wash. They have this behind some sort of like, um, like it was like locked up in, in a, like one of those glass cases. So, you know, no one has tampered with it. So this was five. I think these are normally like seven at like Walmart. This is the Hydro Boost Exfoliating Neutrogena like facial wash. So that would be cool. And then... I also got this one. These were, they had like packets of random stuff where they just kind of throw stuff in there. 
this was like two dollars I got like a funnel that I used for this little art project and little ornament art project that's what I was looking for I was looking for a funnel and I ended up getting all this other stuff but I found a metal funnel that was inside of here and all this other stuff I actually thought was useful this is a flavor injector this is metal so you can use this for baking um, just about anything really so this is super useful I thought that would be cool and then like a little kind of a sifter which is super helpful with flour and then like one of these little spatula thing couple of them uh, a spoon like for soup uh, a corkscrew which uh, has a uh, somebody's 70th, 70th birthday party favor this was literally somebody's birthday party favor somebody's 70th birthday mm, I hope you're still alive <laughs> <laughs> and then we have like a heart cutout thing. This bag was, again, this was $2. And I bought the bag. There was a fun, like a different size funnels that were sold like for $5 in a different part of the store. But I'm like, I just need the one funnel. Ooh. This looks like a broken spoon. No, I think that's the style. It looks like that's the style, but I'm like, this has gunk on it. I, th I think this is a sugar spoon. There's like, sh it's sugar. It's a sugar spoon, but it's not clean. It's not clean. Okay, some interesting things we find at the thrift store. All right, so the next one we have here was a $2, I just thought this was cool from Haraz, Haraz uh, Casino. Um, this looks like it's a Haraz Rin Con, like a convention. Uh, like a little Chinese lucky cat. I just I love these. They're super cute and it was only two dollars So I when I get my office, I'm showcasing the thing okay. And then we got some this I also needed tacks or push pins to hang things up and I got those Those were like two or dollar twenty five And then I also got this little like ocean uh, Trinket I try not to get too many trinkets because I don't have the room, but this was just too cute to resist to kind of go with my eventual ocean theme, so I did get that. And then I also got this super cute cat 2018 snow globe. It's so cute. This was 99 cents. You know, I just couldn't resist it. Yeah. Okay, so this is super cute. I just thought it was cool. I try not to get too many of these things because clutter. But anyway, I also got this necklace. This was $3. It's kind of like, <laughs> it looks kind of like a kid's necklace, but I just thought it was kind of fun and cute. So I got that. And I think that was about it. So I spent about... So about wait, 22, 32, so about $32, that's actually not too bad for all this stuff, only $32, and that's not including the sign I will get for you, the, uh, the wall art I will show you, because I'm trying to make that super popular wall art with the little gold flex and do a little DIY project, but I couldn't find anything that I quite liked enough to do it with, and I didn't want to destroy any art, art that I really liked with it so I was kind of trying to find something I liked but like liked enough to destroy it I guess if that makes sense but anyway <laughs> so I'm back and I'm changed this is how the this top looks on me by the way I feel like it's a little bit mm, snug here what do you guys think I feel like it's I don't know I feel like it's a little snug but this is kind of cute it's super cute so I like this. Okay, so I decided just to kind of show you guys that. Maybe I should do more try on hauls. I just don't really have the space for it right now, just to like, logistically speaking. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I just don't have the... Once I get my own office, then I'll be able to have the space and like be able to like do some like try-ons and stuff with that for you guys. Um, but this was $3.98. Um, I think this was, this was orange, so I think this was on sale too. Is it? No, no, it wasn't on sale. Okay. 
I got my hopes up. Anyway, this is $4. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the gold um, flakes on this or the gold leaves where you just kind of like, I don't know, kind of mod podge it on there sort of thing. But I just thought this was cool because it just kind of reminded me of anime and it wasn't something that I expected to see at a thrift store and I can't, neither of my husband and I could figure out where it was from, but it kind of looks like, looks like the Giver, like something that, like an anime that he would watch. That's kind of why I got it. I just thought it was kind of cool looking because you know me, if you guys know me, you know I love anime and stuff. So anyway, I think this is actually, um, I can't even, I don't think this the, the language on, that's written on here. I think it's like Cyrillic or something like that. It's not like uh, Japanese, Chinese, or any sort of Asi Asian language. It's something different, like Russian or uh, something like that. But that, that brings me to the end of this thrift haul or eco thrift haul. Let me know what you guys think down below. Like my finds, everything was uh, just over $30. So I feel like I did pretty well. I thought I had spent more, but it was, yeah, I guess it was about $30. Um, so yeah, hold on. I do have the funnel that I bought for my art project. That's why I went to the thrift store. And I'll show you guys the funnel that was in that packet. This was the metal funnel, and this actually washes out really well, even after putting in acrylic paint in it. So you just have to wash it out really fast, otherwise it dries on there. But yeah, this brings me to the end of this thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was super kind of fun and fast. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Bye!